This is a sound you've inevitably heard before and probably don't have good memories about. But this annoying alarm sound is not the only reason why I think that iPhone's alarm sucks. Because yeah, you can change the alarm sound to anything you want, right? This is what I thought, but as you'll see, it's not really the case for me. Here is my iPad and watch this. When I set an alarm for a minute ahead and change the sound to something else, let's say it'll be a song named Zebra from a music. After the alarm goes off, you can hear that it still plays the annoying radar alarm. It's just a bug or something, but it just doesn't make sense to me why Apple wouldn't patch this bug or issue. I mean, one thing that came up to my mind is that maybe it doesn't work because I don't have the song downloaded on my device. Like, I have it saved in the Apple Music, but it's not accessible without internet. Again, this turns out to be false. Just taking a look at my Apple Music app, you can see that this exact song that I'm trying to set as my waking sound is saved on the device. Okay, you could argue that my device is running an older version of the operating system, so I updated my iPhone to the latest iOS, which is iOS 16.0.3. And if I do the very same thing, set an alarm and change the sound to a song, it still is the same thing over and over again, the annoying radar sound. To be fair, if I switch it to ringtone, then it seems to be working well, but still, the music one puzzles me. So I've googled some answers and the articles literally say that it's possible and easy to do. So I'm not sure what's really going on or what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, but forget the sound. I'm gonna get used to my morning starting with the radar, but there are other things which I don't really understand. So you wake up and hit snooze, right? And then you have exactly 9 minutes just to do that. To sleep a bit more till you actually get up. The weird thing is that it's precisely 9 minutes. It's not 10, it's not 8. The reason for that is that Apple wants to tribute the old clocks that didn't manage to be snoozed for exactly 10 minutes. So they went with 9. Greg from Apple Explain has a great video explaining the reason why it's so. But it's just weird, like, why can't we change the time? It's been a while since we had mechanical alarms and I don't feel like there's a need for it. Of course, it's iconic, I get it, but I, I don't know. I'd rather have the ability to modify and customize things than paying tribute to old clocks without even knowing about it, without looking it up. But do you know what's worse than missing an alarm in the morning? Well, it's not being subscribed to Foxtech, because there are literally hundreds of tutorials for you right there, so make sure you go ahead and actually subscribe to this channel. But the next problem I have with the clock app is the snooze button itself. When the alarm goes off, the snooze button is presented to you as if it were the main thing. It's bigger and positioned in the center, which a lot of times ends up confusing me in the morning, especially the moments right after I wake up. Because of course, I'm not fully concentrated just yet, so I just end up pressing snooze thinking that I stopped the alarm completely, which I did not. And then, 9 minutes later, it goes off again, waking up the rest of the people in the house. And I thought I'm the only one having this problem, but looking at the most popular comment under the Greg's video, it seems to me and it looks like thousands of other people have the same issue and agree that the, the size of the buttons and the way that they are positioned should be changed. But it doesn't mean that I'll stop using it. Well, not really. The way that the alarm and the clock from the iOS is integrated into the operating system is still the best. Like other apps have to be always open in the background, for example. And if you close them, then the app won't wake you up. So I always have the basic built-in alarm set as a backup whenever I use other alarm to wake me up. So whether I like it or not, I always come back to the stock clock app and the alarm that is provided there. So although I don't really like this app, I don't have to worry about the missing the alarm because it's gonna go off no matter what. I don't have to worry about a do not disturb mode or notifications being disabled for a third party app. 
no matter what I set up, the alarm is gonna go off anyway, so this is a safe bet, but some really annoying things are part of it, so yeah, this is the current situation we have. Now, if you have an iPad and you feel like your iPad's volume is too quiet when it comes to the alarm, here is how you can raise the volume of your iPad's alarm right here, so make sure to watch the video here.